Welcome to another episode guys. Today I'll be showing how you can test the injectors in your vehicle. Let's say for example the car is not running very very smoothly and you're not sure if you're firing on all cylinders. You can quickly do this test to see if your injectors are indeed working correctly. I'll show how to test the injectors while the car is on as well as how to test the injectors if the vehicle is off and that's pretty easy to do. All that you need is a digital multimeter which are quite inexpensive. Uh, you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, your local auto parts supplier, Sears, doesn't matter. They all have uh, multimeters for $15 to $20. So that being said, let's go ahead and let's begin. So if we take a look right here, this is toward the radiator or the left side of the motor and we have one, two, three injectors and then we have another three injectors toward the rear of the vehicle. If anyone is doing this on an older Nissan Maxima or an Infiniti i30, to get to the rear injectors you need to take off this top plenum and in fact I have a video for a rear valve cover gasket removal showing how to take this off. In fact I'll include a link in the description box if anyone is curious on how to do that. But what we want to see, I'll show you how you can test an injector. In this case we'll test this guy. But you want to run the same test with every injector on your vehicle. So before we test the actual injector I want to first verify that power is getting to the injector. And there's a harness connector and there's a tab where my thumb is. So if I press in the tab and pull on the body, don't pull on the wire, pull on the body here. Here's your harness connector. So what I'm going to do is turn the ignition key to the on position. I'm not going to crank, I'm not going to start the car, I'm just going to turn the key to the on position. And once you do that, we want to take a voltage reading. Now we should see battery voltage, in this case around 12 volts. So this is where you'll need your multimeter. Now every car is different. In this case, we need terminal number two. There's two terminals. Here's terminal one. This is terminal two. Now if you're not sure, use the internet to its full capacity. You can just Google image or just do a Google search on your vehicle. Very often, you'll be able to pick up images showing which connection or which harness to use. So in this case it's harness number two. So the red wire coming from the multimeter will touch to terminal two and then you have a black wire. Black goes to ground. Okay, Ground is any good metal point on the vehicle. So let's see what we have here. And as you can see we have 12.2 volts which is the battery voltage going to this harness connector. So we know that this harness connector is in good shape. If it is not, you're not getting a reading here. Just check the wires back here. Sometimes they'll fray, crack up. You may have a loose connection. Uh, usually it's the wires back here. The main thing you also want to make sure is that you have a good ground. If your black wire is not connected or touching a very good metal point, you're not going to see anything here, so make sure you have a very good ground. Now once you wrap up that test, just make sure you turn off the ignition key. Now since we verify that power is getting to the injector, let's test the injector itself and we'll first do this test with the vehicle off. So if you take a look, inside the injector we have two metal prongs. So what we want to do is an ohms or a resistance test. Now in this vehicle, what we want to see is 10 to 14 ohms. Again, if you're not sure on your vehicle, just do a quick Google search. Very often you can find what the resistance should be. So of course on the multimeter, I'm just going to switch this to the ohms setting. And one lead will go to the prong on the left. My, the black lead will go to the prong on the right. Now make sure you don't want to cross anything here. And as you can see, we have 12 ohms. So this injector is in good shape. So what you want to do is test each injector. In this case, this car is six injectors. So you want to test every single injector to see if it's in good shape. If you have a good reading, then your injectors are perfectly fine. Now, I just want to say real quick, if you've test every single injector on your vehicle and it's still not running right, you don't think it's running on all cylinders. You can also check the coil packs. Now I do have a video uploaded on how to test coil packs. I'll include the link in the description box below. And essentially it's the same deal. You do a resistance or an ohms reading on each coil pack. Don't forget for a cylinder to fire correctly, of course you need your fuel, but you also need your spark. 
So this is just verifying if fuel is going into the cylinder. If it is, then you want to check the spark source, of course. That's the coil pack or your spark plug as well. And to quickly do this last test, we just have to plug this back in. Okay. Now the last step is testing the injector while the car is actually running. So we'll turn the car on and what you can do is listen for a clicking sound from the injector. Now it can be a little difficult of course when you have fans running and everything else but you can use a mechanic stethoscope to see if the injector is firing. Just grab yourself a screwdriver. The longer the screwdriver the better obviously. But just place the end of the screwdriver on the on the metal body of the injector. We'll place our ear next to the other end and we should hear the injector fire on, fire off, and when you hear the clicking noise that just means that fuel is being sprayed into the cylinder. Now I can clearly hear the injector go on and off, even without the screwdriver, but using the screwdriver really drives it home. So hopefully this helps you pinpoint if the injector is working correctly, and we'll see you next time.